Welcome to this brief video outlining the use of a collection of ArcGIS for AutoCAD bonus tools designed to interact with AutoCAD blocks. I use these tools to rotate ArcGIS for AutoCAD block symbols based on field values or control the scale of 3D blocks used to represent my ArcGIS for AutoCAD point features. I use them to build ArcGIS datasets for my older drawings that contain AutoCAD blocks with rich attributes. In this video, I will create ArcGIS for AutoCAD datasets automatically from drawings authored without ArcGIS for AutoCAD, but that are still rich with blocks and attribute data. I will insert blocks and populate their attributes and geometric properties from fields in ArcGIS datasets. I will edit fields and update block attributes and also perform the reverse by editing the block attributes and updating the ArcGIS field values. I will control the rotation angle of blocks based on these field values. Finally, I'll create a 3D scene from point features, again driven from the field values of the ArcGIS data. During that process, I'll also utilize a new utility function called Esri Calculate Field that modifies field values in my ArcGIS datasets using a complex or simple expression. Let's get started. I have downloaded and installed the bonus tools that I found on ArcGIS Online. I can access these tools in AutoCAD either by loading the Autolisp routine and entering the commands at the command line or by accessing the commands from the custom ribbon or toolbars referenced in the included CUIX file. I have an existing drawing that includes many blocks and attributes. With the AFA block to FC command, I easily create ArcGIS for AutoCAD feature classes from each unique block in my drawing. I simply push the button to invoke the tool, and it scans the drawing and creates feature classes and populates the newly defined fields with the block attributes. The feature class definition and the name of the feature class will be based on each block's name. Each of the block attribute tags will be used as field definitions, and the feature class will be populated with the values from each block. The block attributes and the ArcGIS for AutoCAD fields are not dynamically linked and updated automatically but I can use either the AFA block to field or the AFA field to block tool to update the changes I make to one or the other whenever I choose. AFA block to field all and AFA field to block all options of these tools update all the feature classes and feature services in the drawing instead of just the current feature class. The rotation of my feature symbols could be a useful part of my map. I can use the angle field in my ArcGIS data to drive the rotation angle of the blocks displayed in the drawing. All these tools consider the block name, also known as the ref name, the angle, and the scale of the blocks, as well as matching tag names when updating fields and block properties. I can use field values in the ArcGIS dataset to drive the block used to draw the feature, as well as control and record its scale and rotation angles. I can also use blocks with visible attribute tags that match my ArcGIS field names as another form of annotation. Here, I will generate 3D blocks controlled by the fields in this ArcGIS tree dataset. The name of the block, its scale and rotation angle are all controlled by the field values. I will use a new utility command called Esri Calculate Field to define the rotation angle value for each tree. I want to create a random rotation angle for my tree that will make them look more realistic. I can use the Esri Calculate Field command to concatenate strings, calculate numeric conversions, and a myriad of other formatting and calculation algorithms with all of Autolisp at my disposal. Here I'm going to enter a simple Autolisp expression that's going to multiply 360 degrees by another Autolisp routine. Together this is going to define a random rotation angle for me for each tree feature in the dataset. The Esri Calculate field command will have its own video. Using blocks in ArcGIS for AutoCAD is a powerful way to generate 3D scenes from ArcGIS data.
Depending on the different uses I have for the data, I may choose to see it with different symbology. If the ref name value includes the word point, I'll be drawing a point symbol. Otherwise, I can calculate the field to include a block name to draw blocks instead. I'll calculate the value of this temp field into the ref name and then use the field to block tool to re-symbolize my map with more complicated blocks. I'll use this list routine to modify all of the different feature classes in my drawing to calculate the field. Once the ref name field is calculated, I can use the block tools to update all the features in my drawing to include my new block symbols. I would encourage you to periodically check back at this location and ArcGIS Online for future updates to these useful bonus tools and more videos showing them in action.